Okay. So thank you everybody for coming today on this Saturday. I know we had some uh, technical difficulties, but thank you for bearing with us. This is our KBOO's annual meeting. We're getting some new members on the board, so it's it's a good thing, good day. Um, my name is Marvin Rand. I'm on the nominee committee, and I also have a show on KBOO. It's called uh, Marvin's Room. And uh, I'm going to introduce uh, Rambo Rich. He's the host for tonight, the MC. So I want to give him a round of applause. And we'll get ready for one of the first performance. But here's Rambo Rich. Hey, everybody. Hey, man. Rambo Rich. Um, some of you may know me. Some of you may not. Um, tonight, uh, well, this afternoon, I'm hosting for Cable. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you, Cable. Thank you to Brand. Shout out to all of them for making this possible. And um, I want to tell y'all, well, I, you know, besides me and what I do, I, I'm an artist, an entrepreneur, journalist, comedian, a lot of different hats. But what we want to get into tonight or this afternoon, again, is a, a person where we're going to start with, Rain Ezra. And this person is a phenomenal artist. The first time I seen her perform, I cried, literally cried, took my glasses off, went up to this lady and told her how dope she was. And um, we've been cool people ever since. I love to tell that story um, for people who hasn't heard from her. And um, I can't wait till you hear uh, what she can do for you all to see this, this afternoon. So without further, further ado, She's good. wonderful, beautiful vocalist <laughs> in the city of Portland right now, Rain Ezra. Hi, thank you so much. I love hearing that story too. It almost makes me cry here. <laughs> That's what I want to do with my music. You know, I want to touch people and I want to like inspire people to, to use music as an outlet. Um, my name is Rain. Uh, I go by Rain Ezra for my stage name. You can find me on all platforms at Rain Ezra. That's R-A-I-N-E-Z-R-A -E with no spaces. And uh, my Instagram is everything underscore Ezra. I like to post a lot of acapella covers and stuff like that. Um, I'm also a music teacher, so um, I teach with Ethos Music Center, and I also do my own lessons outside of that as well. So if you know anybody who's wanting to learn an instrument, um, I'll be showcasing um, my piano skills, uh, my beat making, and a guitar song today for you guys. So I hope you enjoy. This uh, first song is going to be a cover by one of a uh, one of my favorite artists now. I still don't know if it's now or now. I need to like, I definitely need to figure that out. But uh, this one's called Bad Blood. I hope you guys enjoy. Can you guys hear this okay, by the way? Yes. Your holiday, a glass of ocean slipping down. My throat, I landed on my hopes I'm dreaming Off the maps, no hidden grids, I'm fleeing I worship you like holy days Lying on my back, seeing clouds and rays Drinking lime and bitter from the lemonade White horses, merry time, want to Wait, 
Thank you. That was a bad blood by now. And I'm going to go switch over to one of my beats that I have. Um, again, my name is Rain Ezra, and uh, this song is from my EP. It's a um, beat I made called Loyalty. So I hope you guys enjoy. And just make sure that everybody, if you're in the chat, make sure you have it on mute during the performance. Because I heard somebody. Uh, All right, let me go. <laughs> but again, yeah, yeah, I wasn't good, sure though. if I was supposed to stop or not. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Uh, I just had to say that because it was some uh, noise going on, and uh, cat me out. You're the host now. Lori just made you, and that's it. Awesome. All right. Well, this song's called Loyalty. I hope you guys can hear it. Okay. Can you guys hear that in the background? I can move the speaker closer. Yeah, yeah. See, emotions that fall in the room. Just tell me that you love me so I can love you. Cause I can't be with someone who doesn't feel the same way about me now. Just tell me that you're someone who can't keep a promise, make a guarantee. Cause I just need some loyalty, baby. Uh. I don't need no more. I just need to know right now if this is really worth it. I don't want to play no games, boy. So just tell me straight. Uh, am I the one that you want to be? So I'm just gonna waste. You and me could be safe, boy. Tell me you feel the same. Or is this I'm just gonna waste. You and me could be fatal. Oh, tell me, do you feel the same? Or is this all just gonna? And now you're acting like the victim. When you stole my heart, you are the thief. Mm, too hard to know who's winning. When you're the only one I see. 
Um, remind me how much time I have. I believe it was 15 minutes, so I prepared three songs, but is it more or less now? Uh, not a down, so maybe like a little down. What, I'm having a hard is... time here. Back to audio. I think you have another minute, Rain. Okay, okay. I'm gonna yeah. go ahead and just close it off with um, a mashup on the guitar for you guys. I really Great. love, I really love doing mashups. Um, so I combined it a bunch of my uh, favorite R and B songs, and um, I hope you guys enjoy. And that's all of them. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Place to come through. Say me your location. Let's ride the vibration. I don't need nothing else but you. I said I've been down so long, they all look up to me. Yeah, they look up to me. Yeah, I got big lips, so they go up to me. Straight up to my face. Straight up to my face. Riding my pony in your pony. Let's do it, ride it, my pony, my side, oh, waiting, come to the thousand vibes, so pull up, so pull up, ain't no matter what you see or what you do, and I'm alone or I'll be with you, forget all the haters, I'll be right by your side, to the thousand vibes, now, I need a no one dance, got it in the seat in my hand. One more time before I go. Yeah. Six, seven, eight, triple, nine, eight, two, one, baby. You know that you'll always be my baby. I care right now, so baby, kiss me through the phone. And I'm in love with the shape of you. Got me looking so crazy right now. At night, I think of you. Sugar, sugar, why you get so fly? Sugar, sugar, why you get so fly? Don't play with it, don't be the service. Oh, your love is a one in a million. It goes on and on and on. You give me a really good feeling all day long. Like the way you're working. 
ain't no diggity. I'm about to back it up, back it up now. I like the way you work it. No diggity. I'm about to back it up, back it up now. Your location is focus on communicating because I don't need nothing else but you. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you, Kebu. And um, stay in tune for some other amazing artists. Um, I am very happy to have been able to play for you guys. My name is Rain Ezra. You can find me on Instagram at everything underscore Ezra. And then um, Rain Ezra is how you find my EP and the, the song that I performed earlier, Loyalty. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Rain, for blessing us <clears throat> with some beautiful music. Um, also, like she said, check out her EP. Um, uh, two songs that's doing really good right now. You got Chronic Kisses, and you also got uh, Come Close. Those are two of my favorites by Rain. So if you're not familiar, get familiar. And give another round of applause for Rain Ezra, everybody. Thank you. Now, coming up, we got Cat Meow. I haven't had a chance to meet her yet, but... I'm um, very curious to hear what she sounds like and what she can bring to the table. Good to meet you, everybody. Cat Meow. Thank you so much, very much, Rambo Rich, and also Rain Ezra for performing. Really appreciate having you here, joining the KBU community um, to bring wonderful sounds and information to our community. I am Cat Meow Garcia. I use pronouns they, them. I am a musician, but I don't have anything to play for you tonight. Um, I'm here as your board president of the Kibu Foundation to give you a little bit of a state of the station address. Um, but before we get started, um, I did want to take just a moment um, for everyone here and for folks who may join us later when they review this for a beloved Kibu volunteer who has um, sadly passed. Uh, it's Mark Weiner, and I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and just ask that we take just a minute to not only reflect on, on our loss, but also on the joy that we had um, having this person, Mark, with us, um, helping our community, uh, helping um, engineer our remote broadcast for many years, and also festival broadcast and attending beloved community groups, which was helping to identify ways to um, dismantle white supremacy and oppression. And um, he had just a ton of knowledge over this last 50 plus years that really have helped us quite a bit. So if we can just take one moment of silence for Mark, we can turn off our cameras and remember those we've lost and also the joy that they've brought and how we can continue that legacy. Thank you everybody for taking that time. Um, I know that this year has been one of, of quite a bit of grief, quite a bit of loss um, due to COVID, due to the ongoing police brutality um, in our nation and around the world and tons of social unrest and um, just terrible racism and bigotry that, that we've seen all over the country. Um, for a lot of us, we're used to that kind of trauma, right? We're used to like living in a life where this is a reality, but I think that there was a major shift this year where a lot more people were starting to understand that kind of trauma and have a lot more empathy. And I'm really proud to be part of an organization that is moving with those changes and has been helping push forward those changes for a long time. 
And although, you know, we all love KBU and we're all here because we really love KBU and we want um, our community's voices to be heard and we want to dismantle white supremacy. And although we've wanted that for many years, I think that this is a really exciting opportunity this year to not just talk the talk at KBU, but actually walk the walk and look at what our communities of color have been asking for and look at how we can get to the place where we've set goals to reach that we maybe have fallen short doing so. So I'm really excited to be taking a look with the board this year very seriously at actual actionable items that we can do to promote the um, the welcomeness, the belongingness. A lot of folks are talking about JEDI, which is justice, diversity, equity, which is different than equality, right? And, and also um, belonging. So not just inclusion, but a sense of belonging. So people feel like they belong at KBU and they're, and they're welcome. I'm really excited to work with management and staff and the board, of course, to take some actionable steps. Now, well, the board doesn't mess with operations and things like that. That's the management's role and staff's role. We do have things that we can do on our board to take those steps, and we're going to work together this November at our retreat to plan those out. One thing that I'm super proud of that we did do this year, a couple of things actually on the board. One, specifically, we decided to prioritize um, our open seats to people of color in this community. Um, we also reached out to current board members who had needs that had not been being addressed. Um, needs of printed materials, needs of phone calls instead of emails, needs that a lot of times in professional communities and boards across, you know, all the nonprofits, those things are being neglected or they're not being um, looked at at all. So I'm really proud that everyone on the board worked together to meet each other where they're at so that we could do the really important work that it was that keeps the station going. I'm also really, really proud of everyone who gave this year and who spread the word because honestly giving is great and that helps financially but spreading the word it helps us build the community it helps us build our audience and every time you listen or every time you tell a friend about KVU, that's really actually doing a lot of work that maybe isn't quantifiable on paper but it's quantifiable in heart and in mind so i really want to extend thanks to that and of course with covid right we had to pivot and when i say we i'm going to actually say our staff at KBU and our amazing management has had to pivot not only programming so that um, there could be our wonderful volunteers producing from home, but also had to pivot their own functioning, their own staff work um, to be able to work remotely and get everything done that they need to do. And it, it was a huge lift, as I'm sure a lot of people who have had to also work with that in their own workplaces know about. So I really want to give props and a huge gratitude and thankfulness for the staff being able to be so flexible and also starting to take time for themselves and really recognizing that they're valuable and their time is valuable. Um, so excited about our social media, so excited about our development, um, everyone working so hard to work through this COVID-19 process and somehow we're we have more Twitter followers, we have more Facebook followers, we have more members and we ended the year um, just, just outside of our budget or just under our budget, which is amazing. And it's has to do with everyone's hard work. It has to do with some incredible donors that came, anonymous donors that came forward. And it also has to do with navigating. Thank you so much, everyone doing accounting and on the finance committees, navigating these um, PP loans um, that we got because of the COVID situation. So just a ton of hard work went into this year. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> And I see a question in the chat and I'll get to that in just a second. Let me make sure I hit all my my notes. So we're, like I said, we're this year moving forward. What I'm excited about and what I'm hoping everyone can work with us with is telling your friends and family, just like you've been speaking up about social injustice in our country this year with your friends and family, tell them about KBU, tell them about why it matters to you. And this is an ask from your board president and I will do the same thing. I think the more we reach out to the people we know, the larger we can grow this community and the understanding that this is a resource that is incredibly valuable. Uh, and also we've got tons of merch and stuff so you can start sporting your things on all your Zoom calls. And if you actually get the chance to go out into the outside world in public, you can sport your, your pride in your community radio station, which you make happen. Whether you're a volunteer or a listener or a donating member, you make this happen. And I appreciate you. And I'm always open for anyone to send me questions or comments. And you're also always welcome to join our board meetings. You can find the link um, when we're on top of our game on the KB website. I appreciate it. And I will pass it off, I believe, to our fabulous host and MC. 
Rainbow Ridge. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much for that reintroduction, Kat. <laughs> Fabulous. Wow. Okay. Um, I'll try to live up to that. Appreciate it. <laughs> um, I think, do we have any more? Um, we actually have room for more panelists to introduce themselves and talk a little bit about um, what's going on with them. Um, any panelists want to start off right now? Hey, Zale, are you speaking? It, yeah, Zale, yeah. <laughs> Hi, so I was away and I think that you're asking me to uh, speak now. <laughs> and what am I speaking to? <laughs> Ask me the question again, thank you. Just Oh, well, it wasn't actually a, a question. Just um, you being a pan panelist, uh, what's your position? What's, um, what's your involvement in being a, pan a panelist? Thank you. Um, I'm the administrative assistant at KBU and have been um, in this year as a city on the bench as with mothers and little brothers. And part of the, what I'm doing here to today. wear a costume and march around and around the playground. So you were a little distracted by that just now so that's why i was a little lost but um but uh, i um, am also the i support the board a lot in my position and um i um, my grown-ups had to be so slow we did a bad mask mama she said oh, the baddest witch in the whole world and then um she just said Whenever she happened to overhear this conversation. Um, but they're not, contradicted Ramona. Uh, moving forward with uh, some more ballot counting and oh. uh, enjoy the meeting. I want to hear more stories about bad witches. The badder the better. She had no patience with books about good witches. Okay, um, I think someone's mic, someone's mic is on. Somebody needs to turn their mic to meet their mic. Okay, I think it may be, okay, there we go. <laughs> Somebody figured it out. Um, so much. There you go, Kat. Oh, I was saying you can in a, um, another, I'm sure we have another panelist um, that can speak. I was saying you can go ahead and introduce, introduce the next panelist if you like. Yeah, so thank you so much Neil, for um, letting folks know what you, the valuable work you do and what, what you're here for. And um, I believe this is the time that we wanted to introduce our candidates for our board. Um, so I am actually trying to get my speaker view to work, of course, so that I can call on some folks. Um, and here we go. Okay, thank you so much for everybody for your patience. Um, so I'm just going to call in the order that I'm seeing you appear, and so hopefully you're ready. So our first candidate is Alyssa Jean, um, and I'm sorry, your name's cut out, Hunter Smart, and I hope I said that right. Please correct me if I didn't. I'm going to go ahead and give you permissions. So please unmute and go ahead and introduce yourself and let us know what you'd like to let us know. Um, yeah, uh, hi. So my, my name's Alyssa Hunter Smart. I... Um, I uh, have been on a couple of times just uh, and, uh, doing the interview for um, the KBU uh, board seat. Um, so I just wanna say, I really appreciate the opportunity um, to be among the folks of KBU and the Portland community. Uh, nonprofit is at the center of all that I do from mental health, social work, homelessness and housing to community and culture that keeps me connected to my home in the Navajo Nation. Dine Nishli means in our language, I'm Navajo. To be Dine means I embody what we call Hijo, which can be most easily translated to harmony with everything around us and a holistic approach to all that we do. I'm excited for the genuine efforts and actions by KBU to embrace 
the human and community experience in a way that reflects Hajo harmony all around us. And I hope to be a part of this incredibly important piece of the culture here in Portland. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you so much, Alyssa. And we will move forward. And it looks like just looking for other folks who are here. And I'm not sure if it's because links were sent, but there do seem to be some people with a Kbrew login as their name, but it's not bringing up your actual name. Oh, here I found one. Okay, so Brian, if you would like to let us know why you're here, why you're applying for the Kbrew board as a candidate, just go ahead and unmute. Hey, Brian, are you able to unmute your mic so you can tell us why you're applying for the KBU board? I think Brian fell asleep. <laughs> We're not able to hear you, Brian, so um, we'll let you maybe figure out if there's some sort of tech issue on your end and we can move forward with our next panelist. Oh, it looks like you said you're here in the chat there. All right, Brian, I'm going to see if I can find another candidate while we figure out on your end what's happening there. Okay, I have two. Well, Lori, okay, Lori, let me try to unmute you. I'm not sure where do you need me cat me out no can yeah you... I'm, I'm having a hard time unmuting lori can you unmute lori can you hear me there we go thanks lori please okay. let us know why you're joining the cable um, and my name is jessica i'm not sure why it has me labeled as lori um, but this is Jessica Almroth, one of the candidates. Great, Jessica, go ahead. Okay, sorry, thank you. Um, so yeah, thank you everybody um, for having me here today. I um, have been a member of KBU and a listener for probably 20 years. And I've just always really valued um, what it brings to our community as far as different, you know, listening experiences with music and, you know, news and stories that you're not gonna find in other places. And so um, it's just something that has always been really important to me to support and, um, you know, I would love to help KBU progress into this next um, time by helping it reach, helping reach goals in membership and fundraising. And, you know, I've heard a lot of talk about wanting to get more youth membership. And um, I would really love to be part of that, you know, development and sort of fundraising side of things um, as well. So, um, I just think it would be a really wonderful opportunity. I like to, you know, help support um, other leaders and, you know, maybe would take a little bit of a step back to, to see how I could be of, of best support to the board and the, you know, leadership at the station. Um, so 
I hope that I'm able to, um, you know, to give something back in that way. And um, I thank you all for having me today. Thank you so much, Jessica. And sorry about the name situation. Zoom is the most bizarre it's world. Strange. We live. <laughs> Thanks. Um, we went ahead and renamed you, though. Thank you so much for letting us know. Great. <laughs> um, it sounds like Brian's back, and we'll give Brian a try. Can you hear me? Yay! Hey. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> it's always so frustrating when you're getting unmuted and then you can't find the right button or something technologically is going on. Anyway, I am, uh, my name is Brian Setzler. I served on the board uh, 20 years ago and have been a member for 30, 35 years. Uh, I'm a CPA, I have an MBA in sustainable business and I really totally love KBU and just want to contribute my background and skills in nonprofit management and, and organization to KBU and saw this as a, being a good time. Uh, was disappointed when Teresa left the board and was considering it when Teresa put out the call for board members earlier, but I just had a lot going on through October 15th. And so when things got pushed back, it opened up the time for me and I put my name in the hat and I look forward to serving the KBU community. Thank you very much, Brian. Um, so we don't have two of our candidates here, unfortunately. It sounds like um, Lasha Jean or, uh, and Layla aren't able to make it. So um, unfortunately, they won't be able to comment, but we did um, run a really cool Zoom, you know, remote recorded candidate forum that played on KBU about a week and a half ago. And I believe that that's still, you'll, you're still able to listen to that content on, through the KBU website. Um, but Mike just put our lovely um, membership guru, data guru, just put in the ballot in the chat so you can feel free to look at that. And since we don't have any other um, candidates presenting their um, candidate statement to us right now, we can open it up to folks who are here attending for any questions that you might have for the candidates that are here right now. You can feel free to type that into the chat or into the question and answer section. And seeing that there's an ask for seeing our candidates. I believe that their videos aren't able to be seen due to the webinar format. So how many open positions are there? There are four open positions every year um, on our board. And then uh, throughout the year, if there are uh, board members that need to step away um, or step down, then there are open seats, which we then fill via our nominating committee. Um, who are what are foundation members? That's a really interesting question um, from Sedora. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if you can ask that in another way. I guess um, the foundation is, is, is the governing body that um, is like the financial and legal side of KBU as the 501c3 and members of KBU are members of the community that also help support KBU um, either by listening, by donating, um, volunteering. Um, I hope that that answers that question. So the, the foundation, the board represents the foundation and then um, staff and management and volunteers and members are part of KBU radio station. And so foundation, the board is representing the foundation and the board are also volunteers of KBU, if that makes sense. Um, let's see, there were five open positions. So we actually at our October, this, there's a question from Janet um, about Teresa's seat. So in October, at our October board meeting, we sat um, an interested person into that empty seat um, named Steph. And 
we made that decision at the September board meeting and then set them in the October. Thank you, yes, uh, Stephanie Ryder. And then, are there any questions for our, our candidates? There's also been placed in the chat, thank you so much, a link to our um, 2020 meeting um, for more information about board candidates. And it looks like Barbara didn't catch Zale's introduction. Um, Zale is an amazing administrative coordinator at KBU, has exceptional knowledge of our bylaws and a ton of uh, legacy information. Sounds like Barbara, you weren't able to drop off or mail the ballot. Can you still vote online? Yes, you can. You would need to do it during the webinar um, because our bylaws state that voting needs to be allowed during the annual meeting, but at no time before or after. Cat Meow, we've posted, this is Laurie, everyone. Uh, Cat Meow, we've posted the link in the chat box to the virtual ballot so people can fill out the virtual ballot and it will be recorded. That's kboo.fm slash ballot. I and I don't know, Dale, do you want to say anything about the bylaws? You're, you're muted, Zale. Hi, am I here? I, I mean, I'll are we ever really here? <laughs> <laughs> Am I there? Um, uh, sure, I can talk about the um, bylaw revisions um, if you'd like. Basically, I'm the chair of the personnel committee and um, we uh, together, there's three board members on the committee um, with us, and, with me, and we um, referred these bylaws to the board who approve them and want you to approve them as well. Basically, the uh, the first one, board members may not also serve as staff members. Um, that's already in the bylaws, but we want to add a clause, whether paid or unpaid. Um, we're hoping that that will um, further eliminate uh, conflict of interest. Um, on the second bylaw revision uh, allows for electronic voting in future KBU elections. We're hoping that everybody will vote yes on this one. Well, we hope everybody will vote yes on all of them. But um, if we had uh, we've, we had this um, provision available this time, then um, with the pandemic and social distancing, we could have, um, well, we could have done this election with a lot less paper and at any point, we'll be able to do the election with a lot less paper, and we should have a lot more participation if everybody can just log in and um, sign and do things online. But we're always going to have, if I have anything to say, we're always going to have um, paper ballots available for anybody who wants them in person, pandemic notwithstanding, and uh, mailed out to you as necessary. So it's not going to prohibit that at all. It's just going to allow us to set up a way to have um, electronic voting. And then the last one, um, notices of special meetings to include text and email. Well, this is just a silly old fashioned thing that we're trying to update. Right now, um, right now, if the way the bylaws read, when there's a special meeting of the board, board members must contact each other either in person or by mail or by telephone. Um, and this would allow people to contact each other by text and email, which is, of course, how we all work these days. And it also, um, it also specifies that there's going to be a, um, that the board member shall respond, shall acknowledge receipt of notice. There have been times in the past when people were easy enough to say, oh, well, I just didn't get that. Well, now it's going to be encoded in the bylaws to do that, or we hope to if it's passed.
So that's it about the bylaws. And I'm actually in the back room counting ballots right now. So I'd like to get back to that. Thank cool. you so much, Sale. <laughs> bylaws. Thank you. And thank everybody for showing up. And please go um, check out the chat and find that um, link if you haven't voted. You can vote virtually today, right now, until 3.30 for the next, uh, what, 27 minutes. So thank you, everybody. Thanks so much for having us. Thank you for being here. This station is a very important in our community and around the world. Um, we are sharing, you know, online as well. So we're reaching folks outside of the Portland metro area, but that doesn't take away from the amazing work that just even hearing a show on KVU does for this community. It really uh, is really important. So thank you all for being here. KVU is the best. Yes, Brian. Woo, woo, woo. I mean, what other what other um, nonprofit station has a Mad Max themed annual meeting? Come on, it's great. Well, if I'd like to still have the floor open a little bit, if there are questions for our amazing candidates, we do have a question about why the annual meeting was not really promoted on the station, at least during news programs. Um, and I would hope that um, we've got a couple of folks, lovely folks here who helped plan it. And it's a huge deal to plan a big event like this. Uh, Lori and Marvin, I really appreciate you doing that. And when I was doing nominating committee and planning these kinds of meetings, um, comments like uh, Theodora's were really helpful in helping me plan the next meeting. So maybe we can mark down um, a kind of uh, a looking at next year, seeing how we could better promote um, during this is a good idea, news programs and things like that. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you for having me out. Yeah, it looks like we don't have any other questions. Oh, we have one question from um, the wonderful McCray about um, how, and each, um, each candidate could answer this, how will you help the board to raise money next year to meet the board's goal. And that's a 10K goal um, with this year's budget that we just passed. So I will call on Jessica first. Um, well, thank you. Um, I think that, you know, something I've talked about is starting by just talking to my friends and family and my community about becoming a KBU member themselves. Um, and, you know, then I think that there's a lot of different ways, you know, that we can do you know fundraisers as a board um, to reach that ten thousand dollar goal? You know it really depends on what we're looking at um, in the next year if we're able to have any type of events at some point. But you know if not, I think that there's been a lot of success in different you know online events like raffles and um, you know uh, online like fundraising goal kind of things. Um, I've participated in some this year and. Um, uh, so I think, you know, that is, that's one area. Um, I think, you know, maybe reaching out to, um, you know, grants or corporate donations, I'd be, you know, interested in looking into that as well. Thank you so much, Jessica. Um, how about Alyssa? How would you help the board raise money next year to meet the 10K goal? Um, I definitely think that the uh, common theme due to the pandemic is really finding creative and new ways to fundraise. And um, I feel like uh, reaching out to youth and, you know, kind of expanding our listenership and, um, and involvement and, you know, sustaining membership um, will be really helpful. So I think that, um, you know, just, yeah, really, uh, putting heads together to find uh, creative ways to uh, raise funds during a pandemic. <laughs> so thanks so much. Thank you, Alyssa. And Brian, same question. How will you help the board to raise money next year to meet the board's 10K goal? Well, there's only about 10 ways or a dozen ways. I, I have them written down somewhere that nonprofits can raise money and make money and bring money in. And so I think looking at those, I think, one of my strengths and what I hope to bring to the board is really some strategic planning and that's about us getting together as a board and figuring out what is the best thing to do. I'll say back in uh, two, 1998 or 99, we got a fine from the federal government and threatened with being shut down for 
some of the what we played over the air. And one of the things we did at that time when I was on the board is we committed to getting enough monthly donors so that we could run the station without needing any federal money if we ever got cut off from the federal budget. And I don't think we ever did get cut off, but we did increase our monthly contributors from, you know, two or 3,000 a month back then to 7,000, some number like that, where we actually got free of needing any government money. And the government money we got each year from the, um, C, I forget which one of the national organizations, federal organizations funds us, but that money just became bonus money for us to use, but not necessary money. And so maybe to go back to some kind of strategy like that. And to, like uh, Jessica said, just about reaching out to people. Uh, KVU, I think, I don't know what our membership numbers are right now, but 20 years ago when car radios before the internet, uh, KVU was the true voice of the community and everybody listened to it all the time because there wasn't very many other sources. And how do we get back to uh, getting people to tune into KBU? Because I've gone, I don't own a car, so I've gone on and off and on from my listening. I never wavered in my support, but my listening goes off and on. I don't have a clock radio. I don't, you know, it's, I have to tune into to, um, the app and it's just a little bit, how, how do we make that a regular place that people go to in this community? Because it is such a breath of fresh air to hear what's going on in the diversity and it just is so important to the community. Thank you, Brian, so much for that. I agree. I went to a PSU um, community building through community media um, uh, speak, speaking opportunity where I spoke to a bunch of um, college students who were, you know, pursuing radio, TV, television, film and looking at how community building can be you know um, expanded upon with community media and when i started to speak about kbu the first question i got was how can i listen to kbu i don't have a car and it kind of blew my mind because i realized that there's this generation gap right of young people who grew up with the internet and who grew up with phones and maybe grew up like seeing the dangers of being reliant on cars um, for our environment and what have you who don't know, you know, that radios used to be little boxes in your house that you could switch on and off. So that's a really good point. Um, and I've noticed it in my own life. I have one question for all the board members um, or board candidates rather who would like to be members. And that is, I'd like for you to explain um, an instance in your life where you're really successful working with a diverse community. And um, if we can start with Alyssa. Um, hi, yeah, so I, I think that um, my diverse, uh, the, the, what I do um, in general is like human services. So I'm a social worker and mental health. But um, I think what is the most unique experience within that is working with uh, severe and persistent mental illness, which is um, such an example of uh, intersectionality of, you know, um, it is, you know, people of color who may also be queer, who have schizophrenia, you know, I'm kind of, I've worked with, I've really had the honor of working with so many folks that um, are just so special. I mean, just so close to my heart. So, um, and it's, I don't really know how to explain it, but it really runs the, the full spectrum. And, um, you know, my door is always open to, to everybody that I work with. And I, I just really love to get to know all folks in my community. Thank you, Alyssa. Same question for Jessica. Um, please share an instance in your life working with a diverse community that was successful and why. Yeah, um, so I also uh, work in social services, um, specifically with um, women and people of marginalized genders that are experiencing homelessness. And so there is a lot of diversity in, you know, the, the clients that we serve and um, as well as I manage our volunteer program. And so I've had the opportunity to work with volunteers from all different backgrounds and reasons that 
you know, they care about doing this work. And um, I think the way that I've been really successful there is to be really warm and open and um, available to the people that I work with and also to the folks that we serve. And, um, you know, just really trying to find common ground with people. And um, I, I really love the work that I do. And uh, I just, I really like being around other people that want to make a positive impact in the world. And during this time that has been, this has been one of the most challenging year of all of our lives, um, that it's really easy to kind of start to give up hope. And I have been just so blessed to have so many opportunities to keep that hope and that faith by seeing the work that our communities are doing to support each other. Thank you so much, Jessica, for sharing that. Um, Brian, same question for you. Please share an instance in your life working with a diverse community that was successful and why that was successful. Yeah. Um, so I am a white guy, and I think, uh, you know, it's oftentimes thought that there's a lack of diversity within the white community. And I just will say there's diversity everywhere. But I, I would say, you know, looking back at my first KVU time on the board, I got on the board at a time and one of the reasons I got on it, I was living in a co-housing community and I really thought peace was an important an important value to me. And the board at the time had a lot of uh, fighting, infighting going on and problems. And so I got on the board and in the three years I was on the board, we, uh, as I mentioned, freed our financing from the federal government. We took on the FEC on a, on a, on a legal battle we set up oh a uh, fund. Shahid was the chair of the board at the time. At one point, we started the news service. We started up. Um, I'm trying to think of the name for a fund where you know you put money away and you live on the interest. We started that. I also serve on the board of Livelihood Northwest. Right now, Livelihood Northwest is a organization that uh, supports entrepreneurs from under normally underrepresented communities, women, people of color, immigrants to build and create wealth in their communities through, through business. I've also uh, been serving as the uh, financial guy up till about a couple months ago for Brown Hope from when it started through uh, about two months ago was the uh, bookkeeper and accountant doing all their work and tax work. And so I work with a, a diverse community and I value it. And I mean, one of the things I learned to get my MBA in sustainable business was asking, because diversity makes any, any organization richer and better. And it's like, who whose voice needs to be heard that's not being heard? Who needs to be at this table that's not at the table? And um, those are all instances and that's, I, I really appreciate diversity and look forward to working with the diverse KVU community. It's what it is. It's it's diversity at the station. Thank you so much, Brian. Thank you. Does anyone else have some questions for our candidates? And it looks like the Q and A. There are none. Um, and again, um, the ballot is linked in the chat if you would like to vote. Um, if there are no other questions we can move on to a little break. Uh, we'll give you some time to vote and then we will come back and we have what looks like a performance. Okay, okay, everybody. If y'all already seeing them and y'all know what's about to happen. The same guy that brought you nowhere else same guy that bought you drop something. Also, the same guy that been doing all kinds of things throughout the city, making noise, making crazy music. About to drop his another, about to drop his other full length EP, Joy Two. Hope you're still enjoying Joy One. It's no, no other, no other uh, person than Scooter Rogers. Everybody, round of applause. Appreciate you, Rainbow. Appreciate you. Y'all be on the lookout for the Joy Two Podcast. We have some of my dog Rainbow Rich on there. It's about to go crazy. So if you're ready to get your rock star bag. Uh, as you mentioned, my name is Scooter Rogers. 
Northeast Portland's very own. Uh, I got my DJ Deli in here. DJ Deli Fisher, go ahead and do your move. Yeah. Thank you, me hype. Thank you, me hype. And I got my girl So Take here rocking me today, too. So it's going to be a fun one, Kabu. Uh, appreciate the love. Thank y'all for having me. Without further ado, speaking of joy, let's get to the intro, man. Can we trade living room for like a week? <laughs> Just so I can do some MTV crib stuff, like that'd be fine. The fridge gotta be totally empty. Though. That's how they do it. I gotta have like two limes and like smart water and expired yogurt. Damn I'm right. telling you, you can use my fridge as a model. It's like empty and like sugar-free Red Bull. <laughs> I'm with it. Nothing. <laughs> cry. Rise to the top, peace. We do settle it. Say he got a problem to settle me. Walk you with racks like I just want to settle me. Yeah, I'm the freshman of the year. Somebody go get my letter me. These dudes are saying they make me. Which I'm breaking. He's saying I'm late like my name, David Letterman. See, I'm back in this piece with my piece, but they sleep like somebody gave them boys a sedative. Shouts out to 235, 10K Wix and Wavy, make them boys my treasures. And this one for my kid, Carizzi, who told y'all that y'all cannot see me. This one for mom and for boosted. You mess with my troops, you get pressed like we make it to see me. This one for Deuce and for Monkey, for David and David, GK and for Jake and for Drano. That's what my squad, swear to God, I'm for rounds on your. Head like a halo. This one for Chucky and Kiki. If you mess with them, then you can get put up in the Ozone too. And to the haters that said that we wouldn't make you look, man, I just gotta say it ain't a joke song. You. Who can't be the baby? I love this. So cool, so cool. Shout out to the baby, man. Because I hate her all kids. She gonna kill me for saying that out loud, but. <laughs> Are we playing roulette now? So where my DJ play? We gonna spin it. Ah, uh, all right, fair enough. Man, I wish the guy was here for this one. But this is actually on the same album uh, on Joy and his last is called Him Though. We're gonna feature the guy he can make today, so we can rock one first. We gonna have fun in my DJ living room, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Hey, can't you tell I'm really him though? Whoa. Whoa, damn, really in the room, I don't really need an intro, no sir, hey, I got the switch, got the wood in the good, all the homies going big smoke, I see you hopping like you got it, boy, stop it, we know these haters been bro, but if they ask you who I am, you tell them, wait, now can't you tell I'm really him, no, look at the walk, look at how that boy grin, no, tell him no cap, even when I got my brim low, I don't miss shots, boy, they hit who they been for, so forget the critics and all they bloggers. You can tell I run the town in these ball main joggers. I put the pit in the bar. Put these rappers that you hype up. Heard some fly stuff while I'm all day off the seat. I know how these dudes give it up. Got a Louis belt, but he still ride the city bus. Put the feet in quarantine. Well, my squad sick as fuck, uh, and we do it major. Nobody do it big as us. And my homeboys that touch me is gone. So I got no worries like to moan and poop, but they on that hate ish. Show love, but it's hate. And I don't like that. Tell them no man goose the boy, I'm him now. I'm the realest dude in the building. I don't really need an intro. No, sir. I got the switch, got the wood in the good. All my homies going big small. I see you talking like you got it, boy. Stop it. We know you hate the bit, bro. And if they ask you who I am, tell me, scratch it. Dude, where the last one? Whoa, whoa. They will see this. Are you getting this? Are you getting this? Oh, he wants to stop scratching me early. I was just getting hype. Wow. You gotta be careful, man. It'll be your own people. Jeez. I was just trying to get you your shine, bro. What you? Oh, I got you. Look, family. No trip. No trip. All right, man. Go to the next track. We're now upset. <laughs> oh, that hype for nothing. <laughs> oh, All right, let's see. Uh, next will be Billy Jean. Uh, but I'm kidding. That's definitely not a thing at all anywhere in the world. Oh, I guess we're going now. So we'll pass the mic off to Sosa. I'll be back to talk to you on the second. <laughs> Yeah. 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 
I'm trying to start some. I swear, I'm not one for the drama at all. But it's the guy to the point we done got our mamas involved. And all they do is tell us we should stop with all the nonsense. But all we do is fight because you got to do some conscience. Snapchat full of dudes you filed under women's names. Last time we made love, you said another dude's name and blamed it all on me. Telling me that I'm not worthy. So I'm hanging up my jersey. I refuse to play your little games. Pressing on my buddies. Telling me I'm up until you talk to her and I tell you to go and do my phone when you know you should have took it though. And next time I hope your ass find what you're looking for. My bad, y'all trying to sit on the fly right now. It's a little difficult. <laughs> but I just gotta let it breathe. Yo, say I just gotta let it breathe. But one question, what happened to us? We were supposed to be a team. Supposed to be together, but we split it at the seams. Yeah. But I just gotta let it breathe. Yeah. Said I just gotta let it breathe. But lately I feel like I'm suffocating. And you push me to the side because you had a couple waiting. Now I'm living. It's living that you didn't see my vision. We were supposed to be the team that had these couples hating. But you still didn't ride for me. And focus on your side, niggas. Even when you're standing on the side of me. Tried to be your soldier, you gave me the colder shoulder. Now it's time that I show you a different side of me. I'm gonna hit the booty club for some of that groupie love. And I'ma do all of that stuff that you accuse me of. Down on your luck, and it sucks to suck. Give a on second thought, I should have been a fuck you up. But I stop and take a look in the mirror, see? Then I shift the energy just by simply pulling out my energy. It's over, baby girl, I hope you hear me. Cause I cannot fall victim to this war of insecurity. So I just gotta. Said I just gotta let it breathe. Whoa, said I just gotta let it breathe. Hey, yo, but one question, what happened to us? We were supposed to be a team. Supposed to be together, but we split it at the stage. Uh, but I just gotta let it breathe. Uh, so I just gotta let it breathe. Another page in the diary, rip it out of the seams. His name's in the press, his name's in the beliefs. I guess this was what we thought it to watch him with his seams. Cause I love you, wasn't enough, just too bad. He's the sense of it, but it's just a bit too much to see. Busted, 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 see. Drowning from all these damn insecurities. Hope you thought that we could be what you expected out of me. But we're splitting out the same sleep when the sun rises up. From the darkness of the horizon and the shadows of the light. It's the light when I pause and look up. See, there's no hiding now that the light shines down. Because what was once in your arms suddenly seems so far away. And those pearly gates seem to drop me in a place that I can't stay so I gotta walk away with the time to erase. Before we go any further than that last song now, it's called Let It Breathe. A uh, special shout out not only to Lions for that beautiful poem, but also my dog K Wix. And you saw her earlier, Rain Ezra, also doing background harmonies on that. So thank y'all for bringing that vision to life for me. I greatly appreciate it. To kind of flip things now, if you will, we kind of got past the whole I'm over love thing. And then as luck will have in real life, I ended up finding somebody that, you know, pretty much made me no longer question why things didn't work out. So with that being said, it's more of an appreciation song. It's called Say Something. Uh, Delhi, if you would, please. <laughs> Selling my DJ for $750 OBO. <laughs> Vast price reduction. Yeah. Shout out Black Man to by the way, too. Yeah, I swear I can't describe the feeling I feel. Hand on the thigh, left hand gripping the wheel. I try to avoid emotions, but I feel it for real. And every time we lock eyes, it be giving me chills. But she got her walls up, acting tough for me. Because these dudes even treat her as a uh, buddy. And you got pain, you let it go. But I came to let you know that just having you physically ain't enough for me. I want to know your darkest secrets. I promise you I can keep them. And I won't bring up your past in an argument to get even. I won't try to gain control by threatening that I'm leaving. Because if I'm still here, then I rock with you for a reason. I mean, roses are red, violets are blue. I still can't believe the way I'm vibing with you. So just drop the Addy and I'll slide in the view. And I'll let you tell Daddy what you're trying to do. Because you'll never have a chance unless you take one. 
And maybe we can watch a movie or just make one. Whatever you feel, keep it real, girl. Don't fake that. And if you win it, all you gotta do is say something. Because you'll never have a chance unless you take one. And maybe we can watch a movie or just make one. Whatever you feel, keep it real, girl. Don't fake that. And if you win it, all you gotta do is say something. Baby girl, 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 say, baby girl, say, say, baby girl, say, say, whoa, 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 say, 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 you got pain to let it go, but I can't let you go, let Hey, if I ain't got time for you, I'ma make time. I take a break to see you smile on the face of time. Whenever I'm better with the music, you tell me that I can do it and be patient because the greatest things take time. And when I look inside your eyes, girl, I know it's true. My heart beating double time, so I know it's you. In the venue, hell of doubt. All these people in the crowd with their eyes on me, but I still know it's you. And I, I really like the way you work you when you step out, make it nervous, pretty face, hella curvy, and you not afraid to curve them. you cold and enjoy curving, it's a cold gag moment, look, my baby picture perfect, trying to show you what this love feel like, but every time you step up on the scene, it's like a scene that I've seen from a scene from a movie in my dream, and I can't believe it's happening in real life, thinking of a way I can get you alone, and that's even during the times we don't get alone, and situations get tough, but I'm never giving up, I'll never contemplate, contemplate and moving on, you say you, love it when I'm in the zone, and you the main reason I'm writing this song, but you should meet me at the door with nothing on, cause when I'm jumping in this bag, girl, I'm coming home, for real, say son. Look, baby girl, say something. Oh, yeah, homie, when I put your hands in here, homie, one time. Yeah. Baby girl, say something. 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 So yeah, man, that was it. Uh, that was the last song I recorded today. That was also on my Joy album. That was called Say Something. That's uh, on the, yeah, that's actually on my album. I like yeah, that. Yeah, next yeah. album, that's on Joy 2 coming out. I got ahead of myself. Yeah, It'll yeah, be yeah. back in the remix. Um, that's my time today. Uh, big shout out to Kenny Boo. I love y'all. Thank y'all for the love. Shout out my dog, Rambo Rich. I see you, baby. DJ Deli, Sote, Scooter Rogers. I'm out. Thank you. Thank you, Scooter Rogers. Of course, of course. Thank you, guys. Woo. Woo, right. Scooter Roger! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Amazing, amazing performance by Scooter Rogers. Always never let let nobody down. So I just can't wait till we get to the point where we can see him in person. <laughs> we love you, Scooter! And um, also, I don't want to miss out on anybody. Um, if anybody else has anything um, to add or closing remarks, they can do so. I um, also want to um, just thank again um, Cat Meow for um, orchestrating a lot of the, um, the candidates and the whole voting um, situation. Thank you so much for orchestrating that and um, sharing all your info on, on that information. Appreciate that. Um, Ray and Ezra did a great job um, starting us off earlier. And school, we just had Scooter Rogers close us out. Um, if anybody else would have anything to add, if you ever hold your peace, add it now. Uh, also, thank you, Marvin, too. Yeah, yeah, I, I want to say something. Uh, first off, Black Lives Matter, and I don't care what side of the spectrum you're on, that's something I'm absolutely, yes, that's something I'm absolutely for a thousand percent. Um, with the election today, like, I want people to understand, at least from, I'm not speaking for everybody, of course, uh, but for me as a person of color, um, the way I look at it is right now, we haven't won anything yet. I think it's very important that people don't just start celebrating on the fact that Trump's out of office. Um, and again, people may, almost may have different views, whatever the case may be. So again, I'm speaking for myself here, but for anyone that shares the same ideals as I do, we have not won anything yet. We have to continue to fight the good fight and keep marching forward. And also going forward, let's make sure that we are really pushing love as a narrative. All right, we've had way too much divisive behavior, too much racism, too much intolerance, too much everything. So at this point, it's time for us to really band together and come together for a common cause. If we don't do it now, when will we? So spread love, understand that the fight is still going, keep fighting the good fight, keep doing the best that you can. That's all we can ask for. That's my piece. Appreciate y'all.
Thank you, Scooter. And if you take a look at the chat, folks, it's it's a hundredfold. Folks are saying, thank you. Love is the way. Black Lives Matter. Spread the love. Yeah. Heard that all day. Love all day. Agree. Black Lives Matter snaps. We've got a hundred. Amen. Yeah. Any closing remarks by Marvin? And thank you, uh, Jessica, Zell, Michael, Lori, Brian, for, for staying tuned in and locked in the whole time. I appreciate everybody. <laughs> thank you. It looks like in the chat, Brian would like to thank Marvin for reaching out to him and that this was a great online meeting. Figuring these things out in the middle of COVID is always a challenge and I agree. Thank you so much, everybody. It wasn't just me, it was our nominating committee doing a fantastic job getting this together. And I want you know members to know that you can get involved and you can join committees at KBU and help um, the board and staff and management do this wonderful work and keep our station thriving through all kinds of things, obviously through a pandemic, right? Um, and we can really bring forth the change that we've been promoting for 50 plus years. Um, and the next step is right now, right? Right now, do the work right now and dismantle the white supremacy right now. Take action steps right now and being a community member at KBU and being a volunteer or staff or board or committee member, that is doing work and that is doing important work. And even just listening is doing very important work. So thank you so much for everyone. Thank you, Rambo. Thank you, all of our talent, Ezra Rain, Scooter Rogers. And I see again in the chat, uh, there's a Brian, we appreciate you. Amen from Alyssa, decolonize and diversify. Yes, thank you very much. With that, Rambo, if you wanna close us out. Oh, you're muted. I think we may have lost Rambo. I think Rambo just left. Yeah, we lost Rambo, but I really appreciate everyone coming down. It looks like we scooted out seven minutes early. Um, it was very, very nice to see all the faces that we got to see, to hear all the voices we got to hear. Thank you so much, everyone. And it's going to be a great next year. Thank you, everybody. And have a good day. And go Joe Biden. Yeah. <laughs> all right i'm done for the day all right bye everybody thanks bye Marvin. i'll talk to you soon bye zale bye mike bye jessica bye Alyssa. bye Lori. you did it you did it thank you thank you so much thank oh you. yeah thank you it's it was awesome really i appreciate it thank you so yeah, much congratulations Congratulations, Mike. nominating Holy committee shit, and board Thank on a you. successful virtual meeting. <laughs> oh my gosh, Thanks, we guys. couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you so much for all the back end work. All the yeah. freaking donor perfect Thanks. ballot situation. I don't even know how you did that. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's recording. Thanks. This is all right, on now let's get these. So I'm going to go ahead and end it now, but take care, okay. everybody. Bye.